Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. Today we're going to be creating a block text effect inside Illustrator. We'll be giving an edgy glass look to the design. We'll first create out this single alphabet in different perspective. Then we'll give the same effect to any word or paragraph. We'll be using a very simple technique to get this design. So let's begin with the designing process. Open a new Illustrator document. First, we'll create a block effect for the single alphabet. To create it, select a text tool and type out a letter L. Scale up the size and change the font style to Nexa Bold. After applying blue fill color, go to Windows, Appearance. You can also open the appearance panel using this icon. Under this, go to Effects, 3D, Extreme Bevel or Effect, 3D, Extreme Bevel. Click the preview option and start adjusting the cubicle box. Rotate the side angle and push down the top surface. Do the proper alignment with the values. Then set the extra depth to 49 point and click OK. This will give us a 3D perspective text. Now you can create a duplicate of this letter and type out a different alphabet. Now select the letter L and expand the shape and then ungroup it twice. This will separate out all the individual surfaces. Next, we'll be creating this glass block effect and look at how to add a different color shades to your design. So let's add a light blue background color and lock it using the shortcut command or control 2. To give the colors, select the surface and pick the color using the eyedropper tool. Use the color code hash 46ABE0 to apply blue color. For the front surface, we'll apply dark blue color. We'll be using this color code. For the top surface, apply white color. Next, to create these glass shapes, select all the shapes and create a duplicate with the ALT pressed. Open the color picker panel and change the color to light blue color. Now select the front surface and apply stroke color. Then under stroke panel, change the alignment to inside. Now under appearance panel, double click on the content. This will open up all the attributes. Here, reduce the stroke opacity to around 70% and reduce the fill opacity to around 27%. This will add a translucent effect. Now we'll do some adjustments. Select the top facing surface and create a duplicate for the bottom. Then using the dice selection tool, select these two points and align them with the corners. Let's delete out this surface and reduce the opacity of the remaining surface to around 30%. We'll give a little variation with the opacity value. Now select all the translucent shapes and place them aligned to our base design. Thus, we have added a nice glass block to the letter. Select this surface and reduce the opacity to 23%. Next, we'll create out the letter X. It has got a multiple surfaces with diverse variation in the opacity values. To create it, type out X letter and scale up the size. Change the font to Nexabold. Now open the appearance panel and go to FX 3D Extreme Bevel. Tick preview option. But before that, let's change the color of the text to something lighter. Now double click on the 3D Extreme Babel to open the Attributes panel. Here adjust the angle of rotation. This time we'll face the front surface to left side. Do the proper alignment and click OK. Now go to Object and expand the shape. Then ungroup it twice. For this design, let's give this color shades. So, draw a rectangle using the rectangle tool and apply black color. 
Then arrange to back of the design using the shortcut command or control, open square bracket. Now let's apply proper colors for the background. We'll give deep blue color using this color code. For the letter, select these two surfaces and apply blue color using the color code hash 7ECED0. For the top surface, apply light brown color using the color code hash FCE7C4. Select these two side facing surfaces and apply the same color. And lastly, for the front surface, apply red color using this color code. Next, we'll create the glass block effect. Select all the shapes and create auto duplicate. Now double click on the fill color to open the color picker panel and choose light blue color. Then select all the back surfaces and reduce their opacity. Delete out this surface and drag down a duplicate of the top shape for the base surface. Now select the front surface and apply stroke color. Then under stroke panel, change the alignment to inside. After that, double click on the content under appearance panel. Here, reduce the opacity of the fill color to around 25% and the stroke opacity to around 72%. Now select all the shapes and align them with the main design. Next, we'll do the final adjustments with the glass surface. Reduce the opacity of the inner surface to show inner shades. Whereas, increase the opacity of the top surface to show highlights. For the front surface, set the stroke to 56% and fill to 15%. And here, we have created a two block text in different perspective views. Now we'll look at how you can apply the same effect to any word or paragraph. Type out a word, a vintage, and for this, let's give different font style. I'll use Lobster 13 regular font to get this cursive handwriting look. Now go to FX 3D and apply Extreme Babel option. Here, start adjusting the perspective view. Adjust the X, Y, and Z values until you get this perspective look. Next, expand the shape and ungroup it. Now, if you look at the individual surfaces, it is formed by the combination of multiple number of rectangular shapes. Our goal here is to have a single shape for each surface. So select the surface and go to Pathfinder and apply Unite option. This way, select all the surfaces and apply Unite option. Select all the shapes that form a single surface. For example, to get this side surface, we have to select these two shapes and combine them. For the top surface, we have to select these two. Do this for all the pieces that you find separated. Once you are done, add a background shape using the rectangle tool and apply blue color, then arrange them to back. Now select all the top surfaces with a shift pressed and apply white color. For the front surface, apply dark blue color and blue for the side surface. Make sure that all the corner pieces are also applied with the exact colors. To add side shade to the eye dot, select the line tool and draw a line parallel to the text depth. Then place a duplicate of the line on top now select the line and the shape and apply divide option, then ungroup it. Give blue color to the side surface. Now create out under duplicate of the word, select all the front surface and apply stroke color. And then give light blue color for the fill. For the back surfaces also apply light blue color and set the opacity to around 32% and then reduce the opacity of the front surface to 28%. Now place them aligned to our design. Next, delete out few of the side surfaces to get this glass edgy look. Lastly, do some final adjustments with the opacity of each of the surfaces.
And finally, we have completed creating a block text effect. During the process, we have seen how you can apply this technique to any word, alphabet or letter. I hope you enjoy our tutorial, don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.